guys, I am Jay Marie and I am here to give you my full review on Drunk Elephant products. If you are interested in knowing my favorites and what I like about the line and what I don't like too much, keep on watching and if you are new, welcome and subscribe. And if you are returning, I'm glad to see you back. So if you want to see my review on the Drunk Elephant products, keep watching and I will get into it. So I have reviewed Drunk Elephant before. Drunk Elephant is a clinically clean skincare line and they believe that skin is skin. There are no skin types. So if you have like normal skin, oily skin, dry skin, they don't believe that there are any skin types. Their philosophy is that skin is skin. They are free of what they call the suspicious six which is like drying alcohols, fragrances, um, sulfates, and some other uh, um, ingredients. But there are six ingredients that their products are without. So they believe that those six ingredients that are in other products are the reason for their, for their issues that anyone may have with their skin. So I'm going to get into a small review. Um, there are tons of reviews here on YouTube, so I'm just going to dive into what I like um, and what I dislike. And the first thing I want to talk about is the TLC Frambos Glycolic Night Serum. And it looks like that. It's a night serum that you use every night to have resurface your skin. It's a mild exfoliant type of thing. It has 12% um, AHA and BHA. So it is like a chemical exfoliant, very mild, and you can use it on a daily basis. Um, I do like this. I find that when I use this, my skin did appear more cleaner. It was less congested. It was more bright, brighter in appearance. But I also, um, can attribute that to the vitamin C. This is the C Firma Day Serum. Of course, if you're using vitamin C, you have to use a sunscreen that is very important. You should be using sunscreen anyway. I used to think that we did not have to use sunscreen, but that is a total myth. Don't believe it, you should use sunscreen. This is going to brighten your skin. It's also going to give it a nice glow and reduce the signs of photo aging. So photo aging is any type of hyperpigmentation or any type of sun damage that you have on your face or your skin. This will help fade that out for you and brighten up your skin to its normal appearance. Okay, so that brings me to the next product, which is the Umbra Tint Physical Daily Defense. This is their sunscreen. This is the tinted version of their sunscreen. 20% zinc oxide and it's SPF 30. I do use this every day because I was using the C Firma every day. This I do like, I did enjoy. It gave me a like, nice little tint. So I did enjoy this. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would. I think sunscreen is very important now that I'm learning about what can happen when you don't wear it. So yeah, I would definitely buy this uh, Umbra Tint again. Okay, so the next thing I want to get into is one of my favorites from the line. It is the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. And it looks like that. This is a chemical exfoliant. It's one of the best products that they have in their line to me, in my opinion. It has 25% AHA and it has 2% BHA. So that's really, really strong, really, really potent. It's almost like a chemical peel in a bottle, but it's not as harsh. It does tingle for about 20, 25 seconds, but it goes away. You leave this on for 20 minutes. You use it once per week. It will resurface your skin if you have any type of congestion or dull skin, um, even your skin tone. Now, before I started using a chemical exfoliant, I was using regular exfoliants, you know, the ones with the beads in them. And um, I would use those types of scrubs 
on my face and that caused hyperpigmentation so because I am a woman of color it was doing more harm than good in the long run now it doesn't you don't see it right away but as you as time goes by you do see it there's no uh, hyperpigmentation it's a more even exfoliant so you get a more even type of exfoliating um, result with this. I do enjoy this. I use this every week. I noticed that when I used it after three or four times, my skin really looked completely improved. I had some hyperpigmentation going on in certain spots. This really, really, really did work for me and um, I really believe in this product. Would I buy it again? Yes. Um, I think you needed this for $28. I really like that. The next thing is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream um, Moisturizer. Uh, I love this. This was a moisturizer. It's pretty empty now. This Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturizer was one of the best moisturizers I've ever tried. It was nice and creamy and rich and I do enjoy that. It seep into my skin and made my skin nice and smooth. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. I think it's one of, you know, one of the best moisturizers I've ever used. Now, I'm going to tell you what the best moisturizer in the world is that I've discovered so far. And that is the Virgin Marula luxury face oil um this face this marula oil comes with the tlc baby facial because they recommend that you use this or you moisturize your skin after you exfoliate it with the tlc now my skin is oily again they don't believe in skin types but my skin is oily and so i really stayed away from any type of oil because i didn't want my skin to become more oily but it doesn't work that way when you use more oil, your skin produces less oil and then it kind of evens and balances out. I'm going to demonstrate it for you guys. So what I would do is I would just um, mix it in, rub it in my face. It doesn't leave your skin oily. It's going to like soak and disappear and melt into the skin, but it leaves behind a nice healthy glow. Um, this oil is also supposed to fight signs of photo aging as well. It's supposed to clear up any blemishes. It has loads of um, vitamins that are good for your face, fatty acids and all of that. Would I buy this again? Yes, I absolutely would. Now I know other lines have marula oils as well, but you have to be careful about how they're processed because sometimes you can get a processed or overly processed marula oil that won't give you the same benefits and I think you know this is probably one of the best ones on the market I haven't tried all of them but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and, and say it may be and that's going to bring me to this is the B Hydra intensive hydration serum this grew on me because I thought it was unnecessary so I thought that this was just something that you know you really didn't need and it, I didn't like the consistency of it. I felt like it was sticky. And I think it was because I was trying to see what I can mix it with. Now, what I saw after consistently using the Beehydra was that my skin felt supple. And it is a different, it does work. It just has to grow on you. And usually I was just like, you know what? This is unnecessary, you know, I just kind of tossed it and then I said, you know, I really want to give a full review So I started using it more and more and I started to like it and so it looks like it's very light And it's just like a jelly type of You can really start to feel the effects of the Beehydra, especially when you mix it in with any of the other products Okay, so that's going to bring me to the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is another moisturizer. This moisturizer is pretty light and I am almost finished with it. Um, it's not as thick and rich as the Lala Cream and I do prefer the Lala Cream over the Proteiny. But I feel like the Proteiny would be my best friend in the summertime because it is such a lighter moisturizer i would probably not buy it again it's not something that i love but i didn't hate it either the last thing i'm going to review is the d bronzy the d bronzy 
I would not buy again. Uh, I did not feel like it showed up on my skin to give you a bronzier look. It looks really, really potent, but then it just did not show up for me. It was like I didn't have anything on and I just felt like it was a waste of of money for me. I think it probably will work best for someone who's fairer than me, um, but it just kind of didn't show up. This is my other hand. Now on camera, this does have a slight tint to it. I mean, you, you, you have to be comparing them to see it. So I just didn't see any benefit of it. But look at that glow. That glow, so compared to the non-glow, do y'all see that? That's the Marula oil. These two, this is really all I need. That is all that I have on the Drunk Elephant products. Let me know what your favorite products are from the Drunk Elephant line, or if you're planning to try the Drunk Elephant line, let me know in the comments below. I will talk to you in the next video. Remember, be blessed and stay grateful.